All righty, John Stalin enjoying a nice evening down at the ballpark. Let's talk some trending stories throughout our area. Erie Insurance employees and members of the Bayfront East Side Task Force today out beautifying properties. Not a bad day to do it. Not at all. You could see some of them were painting here. A lot of different groups had different tasks that they were doing. Uh, but this was one of many different um, beautification events uh, and we're going to tell you about that coming up in just a little bit. And this is just a wonderful thing too because when you see the work done you realize just what a difference something as simple as a coat of paint makes. All of a sudden the property looks 10 times better after 15, 20 minutes of work from a, a horde of volunteers. And in addition to that there's a lot of senior citizens who live right. in these neighborhoods and so you know, Erie Insurance employees are stepping up to help them do tasks that they might not be able to do themselves. Either physically can't or financially can't or both. All of a sudden, that's taken care of. Let's talk chickens, as one does on a Friday night. <laughs> uh, the Wesleyville Borough is considering a resolution that might allow chickens in the borough. The question is, of course, will this pass? Seems that it is up in the air. It could go either way. Under the ordinance, property owners would be allowed to own four chickens and they must be kept in a pen or a coop 15 feet away from neighboring properties and then 25 feet away from the road. Council members, they're expected to vote on this at their next meeting. That's coming up May 22nd at 6 in the Wesleyville Borough Building. We start to see this push nationwide where there's urban settings where people want to raise chickens, at least a handful. That's right, and we'll see what happens. We'll continue to follow this. This is an interesting one. All right, let's head outdoors again for... Golf. Some golf. Yes, what yeah. better day to do it? Beachwood Golf Club in Fairview, Boys and Girls Club outing, and it's raising money for a good cause and an excuse not to work on Friday and hit the links. That's right. That's a good one. All I'm, right. I'm going to bet he caught fairway there. We didn't track that ball the whole way as it went, but dozens of golfers out there, and we talk about this frequently on this newscast, but the charitable spirit of our region is immense. The amount of time and effort people put in. Two out of our three stories here, people giving back to their communities. That's right, and this is the time of the year where those golf outings that uh, become charity events really start to ramp up. So uh, you bet that we're going to be talking about these type of events a lot more over the next few weeks. And John Stalen delivered on the weather. We'll give him a shout out there. Speaking of